Egg freezing, also referred to as oocyte vitrification or fertility preservation, is one of the newest and most talked about reproductive technologies. Initially developed as a means to preserve the fertility of women undergoing medical procedures, such as cancer treatment, it is now increasingly used by women wishing to protect their fertility for a variety of social reasons. While some have argued that egg freezing is the great gender equaliser, allowing women to stop the biological clock, others have criticised it as an individualised solution, available only to the few who can afford it. We explore what is involved in freezing your eggs and ask why increasing numbers of women are considering it each year. Egg freezing is a very exciting new technology which is promising to transform the prospects of fertility for women in a way that has been unparalleled, I think, since some of the very early innovations in IVF way back in the 1970s and is going to have a very profound effect on how women view their family planning in the future. People quite rightly ask about the success rates from oocyte freezing. The chance of success with oocyte freezing has really transformed over the last few years. The technology of vitrification means that we can freeze and thaw oocytes with remarkable efficiency. The ability of us to create a, a viable egg following the freezing process is now up to 90%. In the, in the London Women's Clinic, they are fertilizing at the same rate as fresh eggs are, and the pregnancy rates that we're seeing from frozen thaw eggs are matching those from fresh eggs. The big challenge that women have is facing the biological clock. And oocyte freezing, egg freezing, offers a way to address that. This technology really allows the option for women to feel that they have taken a step which can increase the chance of having the family they want when they want it. I don't think it's beyond being reasonable to think that in the future, considering freezing eggs is going to become a routine part of growing into adulthood and the decisions one takes in early adulthood. I think the main reason why more women are interested in freezing their eggs is because it's more likely to work. The big pro is the option of getting pregnant with their own eggs in their mid late 40s, buying a woman more time. One of the most important cons of egg freezing is that women don't know whether they're ever going to use their eggs. For most women, an enormously expensive thing to embark upon. One of the main dangers is that women might assume that it's as easy to become a mother in your 40s as it is in your 20s. Conceiving through egg freezing and IVF is stressful. Egg freezing will only lead to a birth of a baby if you go through an IVF cycle later. Egg freezing doesn't provide a complete solution to age-related fertility loss, though it certainly helps. It's the lack of a person with whom they are currently able to have a baby, which is the main reason for women to freeze their eggs, rather than because they're pursuing a career or their employer is persuading them to do this. So at the moment, women who freeze their eggs are subject to a 10-year storage time limit. The difficulty with the 10-year storage time limit for women is that once a woman has frozen her eggs, she has 10 years within which to use them. What that means is if a woman freezes her eggs, say at the age of 35, and imagine at the age of 44 she hasn't yet used them, she might then experience a sort of almost a non-biological clock of thinking she only has a very limited time within which she can use those eggs. I do think the current storage limits are now out of date and out of sync with the reality of egg freezing and my view would be that they need to be changed in order to accommodate the needs of women freezing their eggs. Egg freezing enables women who are worried to exercise some control. That's a powerful reason for women to want to do this, a powerful sense that you are actively doing something. It's ensuring against future regrets. One of the things that we know about reproductive technologies is that people really want to feel that they tried everything so that they can't look back and say, if only I'd done that. At the London Women's Clinic, I treat a variety of women for egg freezing. Society is uh, changing, but uh, our biology is not changing, actually. At the moment, egg freezing is a very new process. It involves a bit of commitment because it takes about two weeks from when we actually we can freeze the eggs. 
time to come for scans, then the medication can be taken at home. We explain to the patient when we start how to take the medication, very little needle, so it's very easy. We try to adapt the time schedule as well. It involves about 11 days of injections. Usually it involves about four scans until the follicles are ready to be collected. Collection is the only day that the lady must have a day off because we give sedation. The procedure is a very easy procedure. It may last between 20, maximum 30 minutes. The ladies may experience a bit of cramps, a tiny bit of spotting, but the day after they can go back to their normal daily life. The outcomes and the success depends on how many eggs actually we have in storage and the age that the treatment was performed. The younger you are when you freeze your eggs, the better possibility you have to actually have a baby from the eggs. I always say that it's like a very good account in a bank that you use when you really need it. Society is changing and medicine is changing with society. We are giving the support to the ladies to make their dream true when it's the right moment for them. I first found out about egg freezing through a friend that I was having dinner with. We were having a conversation about relationships and she told me that she froze her eggs. I'd just come out of a relationship and I just thought it sounded something that I might like to look into. So I started to look online and I found the London Women's Clinic and I saw that they were doing an open day. I went and I was so impressed by the clinic and the information that I just signed up that day for my first consultation. I met with a wonderful doctor who was very clear and made me feel very at ease. The whole process was really enjoyable. I felt empowered and proud of myself for doing it. I was very open about it. I wasn't embarrassed or ashamed of it. You have to see it as an insurance policy. We would all prefer to have a baby naturally and with someone we love and, you know, we all want the, the fairy tale. You have to just be prepared for another option. I was a bit anxious about how the hormones might make me feel, but as it happened, I was absolutely fine. The final part of the process is the egg collection. Really quick. I was in and out, I think, in an hour and I left feeling amazing. The process, all in all, took just two weeks out of my life. Having those eight eggs is just a sense of relief for me. I feel confident, feel more grown up. <laughs> it just takes a bit of the pressure off. Egg freezing is a fairly new technology, so what we don't know are questions such as, how many of the women freezing their eggs are ever going to come back? How will the decisions they make change due to the fact that they have some frozen eggs? What will be their precise success rates? We also know from quite recent research that the primary reason women delay is to do with relationships. The majority of the women we see are either not in a relationship or not in the right relationship within which to create their families. The most important thing fertility clinics can do is giving women accurate information and giving women as good an indication of their chances of success as possible. Ideally, what we want to do is to allow as many women as possible to make informed choices that are going to be empowering for them. I think it's really important that technologies such as egg freezing, which really have the potential to increase women's options, go hand in hand with better education. We know that there are large numbers of well-educated, successful women in their late 30s and early 40s who would really like to have children, trying to see what options are available to them in terms of creating the families they want in the future. Egg freezing is a relatively new procedure. There haven't yet been any studies of children born in this way, but there aren't any particular reasons to be concerned about these children because we know that children in other kinds of assisted reproduction families actually do very well.
The Centre for Family Research has been collaborating with the London Women's Clinic for decades. This has been a very fruitful collaboration for us because we are very interested in studying the families that are being created through assisted reproductive technologies. In order for social science research to be conducted on developments in assisted reproduction, it's very important that clinics collaborate with researchers. It is a phenomenon that could become really big and for that reason it's really important that we do research on these families as they evolve. I always thought I would be a mother and then when I hit about 40 I'd split up with my partner and thought okay what am I going to do now? I was very kind of pragmatic about it like this is the process that I need to go through. I found out that the clinic was going to be bringing in vitrification and the success rate seemed to be much higher than the slow freezing method. When they took out the eggs, it was amazing because they had 27 eggs and then they were frozen. The whole process was actually really kind of positive. When I was 46, I hadn't met anybody, so I went back to the clinic and came to the decision that I would then use donor sperm as well. When the twins were born, it was amazing. It took ages for me to actually kind of believe that they were mine. It's been a kind of strange journey, but I love, love, love being a mum. I'm always kind of thinking, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness that they're here. If any women are thinking about freezing their eggs, well, my advice would be to do it. Although there are many aspects to consider, it's clear that the phenomenon of egg freezing is here to stay, and it's becoming a viable option for increasing numbers of women each year. As such, we believe it is important to have more open and honest discussions about egg freezing, and to better understand the experiences of women who have been the social pioneers of this technology. To get involved or to find out more about our research on egg freezing and fertility options, please visit our website at londonwomensclinic.com. <laughs>